This next topic that I'd like to dive into is substitution and elimination reactions. And then we're going to end up squeezing in some alkene information in there as far as nomenclature and a little bit about stability. And first, I'd like to take a look at the introduction here of just the general reaction, a nucleophilic substitution and elimination. So there's a couple things that I want to point out to you as we look through this first little section. Now, if we look over here, we see the general reaction here for nucleophilic substitution. So we call that an SN, right? N is for nucleophilic, S is for substitution. We will look at two of these reactions, SN1 and SN2. Now there's a couple key things and the mechanisms for these are going to be different, but what you're always going to have here is a nucleophile. Right. Now the nucleophile is always going to have a lone pair of electrons and it's going to make a bond with the substrate. And here is our substrate down here. That is our substrate. It's also known as the electrophile. All right. And the electrophile is going to have this thing on it and I'm just going to call it a leaving group for right now. And what we're going to look at in, uh, in a short amount of time here is what are leaving groups in nucleophiles. So there's a whole lecture about that. All right, so looking at this, what we're doing is we're doing a substitution. So in essence, this is kind of coming over here, making a bond with that carbon. And then the leaving group always leaves and takes a set of electrons along with it. So then what we're left with here, right, is our original carbon, that's the carbon that had the leaving group on it. So there's your carbon right there. And that will be connected to your nucleophile right here. And then we booted off our leaving group. And notice here too that the leaving group takes that lone pair with it and it has a negative charge. All right. Now we're going to look at more detail about the mechanisms for this when it comes to the specific type of substitution, whether or not it's SN1 or if it's SN2. And then the other type of reaction that we're going to look at down here below is the elimination reaction. It's in, we call this an E reaction. So for us, we're going to look at E1 and E2. So these are going to have different mechanisms also. But the general idea here is you have a substrate so here again is our substrate. And the substrate is going to have some type of, again, a leaving group on it. So I wrote an X right here for a halogen. But in theory, it could be a variety of different types of leaving groups that we'll go over and we'll talk about as we go through this chapter. And then what we have here is a B minus. So a B minus is different than an, an NUC, a nucleophile. A B minus is a base. So for this reaction, we technically, we just need to have a nice base. Well, it depends on what type of mechanism, if it's E1 or E2, that dictates um, essentially what type of base we need. We can have stronger or weaker bases, and we'll talk about that. So again, this base, it's a type of nucleophile that uses its lone pair to make a bond with hydrogen here, okay? So what's kind of happening in this reaction, and again, the mechanism is going to be different, but if we wanted to put in arrows, we're coming around here, right, just like so, making a bond with that H. And then what happens is the electrons between that carbon and hydrogen swing down here, and that becomes a new pi bond, and then we have to kick off our leaving group here. So what we make here in the end is HB, right? So that's your base that grabbed a hold of that hydrogen. Your X minus, again, that's your leaving group here. And then the other thing is we make an alkene. So these things make alkenes. The last thing I want to point out to you guys as far as this general reaction goes when we look at both of these reactions is down here below, we have three products. Right, so we're going to see once we're done talking about all this, is that sometimes we have competition between SN1, SN2, E1, and E2. And with three products, the delta S term 
of your delta G for your Gibbs energy is more important. So remember that's a T delta S. So often when we heat reaction mixtures, we tend to favor elimination over substitution because there are three products for that uh, elimination reaction.